This is tutorial number six, and we will be covering swept base within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up a part file, click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to create a swept base, what we need to do is create a sketch, and we have to create a line that the sketch will follow to be extruded. So first, let's draw a sketch, click Sketch, click the front plane, click Rectangle, now let's make the rectangle from the origin and bring it out. Now click OK. Now let's click Sketch again. Now for the plane that we have to pick to make the profile, click the isometric view. We created our rectangle on the front plane. Now we need to make our guide, like the line that it will follow to be extruded on the top plane as it's perpendicular to that front plane. Let's click the top plane, click line. Now let's start it from the origin and bring it out. And we can just make a little pattern. Click OK. Now to extrude this through the swept base feature, click swept base. Now, it has already gotten sketch 2 as the path that our profile is going to follow. Now to select the profile, click Profile, open up the tree, and click the sketch. And now, through the preview, you can see how the sketch is following the profile that we have made. Click OK, and we've extruded the part. Now it's very easy to modify this part by the path that it's going to follow. So let's click Edit Sketch 2, right click Sketch 2, click Edit Sketch, and let's add on to this. So click Line, click the point, zoom out a bit, click OK, and it rebuilds and it continues to follow that path. Now let's try doing this with a circle. Now let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now let's sketch a circle on the front plane, get the front view, click Circle, and let's start the circle out to the left and bring it into the origin the origin, click circle, OK. Now let's draw the profile line which it's going to follow. So click line, select the top plane, let's get the top view. Now it's very important to know with the sketch that we're going to be extruding out with, the profile line has to touch somewhere on its outside. So as we made it touch the origin, we ha we're going to make our profile line that it's going to follow right on the origin and it's going to be touching the edge. So we can bring it out, bring it across. If we tried to do this, let's right click and chain. If we tried to do this inside the circle by making our profile line, it wouldn't work. It has to be touching somewhere on the edge of the circle or the square or whatever the object is that you're trying to extrude out. Click OK, click Feature, click Swept Base. Now again, it's already got our profile line for the body that we're going to use. Click Sketch 1, click OK, and it extrudes out. Now this tool is actually very nice if you want to use, if you want to make a roll cage or something such as that. Now, as you can see, if we edit this sketch again. Say this was a roll cage that we wanted to make. We can continue this. We can make various bends within it and it's very easy. Okay, and say this roll cage doesn't have thick piping, like solid piping. If it has a thin walled pipe, you can right click sketch one, edit the sketch and we'll make another circle inside of this circle. 
Click OK. Now it's a thin walled. Okay, and that concludes tutorial number six.